Now the fun stuff. We're going to start with uh, the clone stamp tool, actually, not the healing brush tool. Uh, shortcut is S. If I hit Control Alt Zero, I'm going to look at my picture at 100%. Um, so now it's vo viewing at full size. And if I hold down the space key, I get the hand tool, and I can push my canvas around to look at different parts of my image. So I'm going to center on the rip in his jeans. To create, uh, what what the clone stamp tool does is it copies pixels from one area of an image to another. So if I hit, hold down the Alt key and click, I have just sampled this area right here. But it doesn't tell you where you've sampled from, so you just need to remember what part you've clicked on. And I recommend Alt clicking often. Now wherever I click and drag, I get those pixels transferred to wherever I'm clicking now. And you can see the cross where I'm clicking where it's going from, and the circle where it's going to. If I let go and click again, it keeps the same distance, uh, and uh, and my, my source and my destination are always the same. If I uncheck aligned, then my source is always the same. So if I take the corner of his jeans, click down here, I get the corner of his jeans there, corner of his jeans again, corner of his, corner of his jeans again, etc. So I'm going to undo, control alt uh, Z, click on aligned again, so that that doesn't happen. I want them always to stay the same distance apart. And I'm going to copy parts of his jeans that look similar enough to this uh, that uh, people won't know the rip was there in the first place. So Alt, click, let go of Alt, and drag over top of the rip. And bingo, it's gone. You can do the same thing in his face. Alt, click, click, Alt, click, click, Alt, click, click, etc. Um, but instead of using the clone stamp tool, I actually recommend using the healing brush tool. So I'm going to zoom in here. And the first thing you need to do is make sure you're actually using the healing brush tool. If you click and hold over here, you'll see we've got the spot healing brush and the healing brush. We want the band-aid by itself, healing brush tool, not the spot tool. So let's hold down the Alt key, click, and click here. And it does a much better job of getting rid of that spot. And I'm just going to demonstrate that by undoing, all clicking down here, and dragging. We get this really dark color, and it's actually pretty ugly. But what it's going to do when I let go of the mouse button is blend it with the skin that's around where I clicked. Um, and so I can even drag something from over here on his shirt over here. And you can see I got the color of uh, of the of his skin, but the texture, this line, is actually in here. It's hard to see, but it, it kept this, this texture. So let's actually use this tool now. Alt click, click. And I'm sampling over and over again, trying to find spots that are very similar to the areas I'm clicking on. Uh, you run into problems where you run in when you're close to hard edges. Often you'll get bleed from um, here. If I do it right along here, um, it's actually it's slightly white because the white from here is bled out onto the, his skin tone. Um, but up here by his hair, it seems to be working okay. So those are those two tools.